Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea here and today we're going to be talking about products I've used up over the past four months that I am ready to throw away in the trash, but I've been keeping them so I can share them with you. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on my video and taking time to watch it. I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers and I have a goal of trying to reach a thousand by the end of December. So if you would like to stick around, you know, no pressure, but if you'd like to stick around, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, you know, I just really, really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much for every like, for every comment, for every view, and for supporting my channel on a continuous basis. It really does mean a lot to me. So let's get right into this video. So do y'all know I just finished recording this video, but it did not record? I just spent 30 minutes with no footage. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Okay, so let's start with some personal items. So when I can, and where I can in my life, I am, you know, trying to be healthier, trying to transition on to more natural products when I can, where I can, okay, that's key. So I decided I wanted to try some cotton pads, 100% cotton pads, and so I have used up two of these just a period dyes free fragrance free chlorine bleaching free 100 percent cotton pads and i really have been enjoying them i actually will repurchase these because i really like them um they weren't irritating they still got the job done i didn't feel like they didn't work as well as the pads that i was using before and i do feel a little bit better because it's you know 100 percent cotton so it's not any of the other additional chemicals in the pads that we're now hearing might really be extremely unhealthy for us so i really like those and they're extremely affordable next moving on to lotion so this lotion i've been using for years on and off and i finally have decided this is my lotion you know you've tried other stuff chels but you 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 keep coming home to her so this is the nivea essentially enriched 48 hour nourishing moisture deep moisture serum lotion with two times the almond oil and my skin on my legs tends to get extremely dry in the winter time extremely dry so prior to this i was sticking with vaseline like pure vaseline and that was cool i didn't mind like the extra greasiness of it in the winter time but in the summertime it's kind of uncomfortable because you're sliding around everywhere it's hot you're sweating your legs are just you know thick and sweaty and it just wasn't like the thing in the summer but this product i feel like moisturizes my legs very well keeps them hydrated i mean i use it all over my body but the skin on my legs for some reason is just more dry so it keeps my skin hydrated it's comfortable year round it is a little greasy in texture but like nothing near vaseline and it is just my go-to so i've used up three of these in the last four months while i repurchased i already have so yeah She's my go-to with my lotions. On to facial cleanser. So the only facial cleanser that I like to use is this Physician's Formula, the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. I've used one, two, three, and four of these. Will I repurchase? Yes. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a light green texture. It's a balmy kind of greasy texture. You apply it to the face um, with your face dry. It melts all of my makeup, it melts my lash glue, and it doesn't leave my skin dry either. So I don't feel like it strips my skin of the oils that I need. It actually feels like when I'm done washing this off my face, my skin feels nice and soft, which I really, really enjoy. And I also like that it comes with this little spatula so I don't have to stick my fingers in the balm. I can just scoop out the, the balm and place it on my hands so i feel like it's a little more clean than sticking my fingers in it so i thoroughly enjoy this balm it's like the only thing that i use to take uh, makeup off my face and to take off my eye makeup i like to use the neutrogena eye makeup remover so sometimes especially if i'm wearing like really heavy dark eye makeup thick liner mascara you know lashes all of that stuff I do need some a, a little more assistance with that. And I love that this eye makeup remover does not 
irritate my eyes because I literally have gotten it in my eyes. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It takes off that eye makeup very easily because it's oil-based, so it's more gentle on my eyes, and I love it for that. Sticking with the face, I used up the Simple Kind to Skin Moisturizing Facial Wash, and this was okay. I mean, it, it got the job done, didn't irritate my skin, didn't dry out my skin, but it just wasn't impressive. I wouldn't repurchase it. I wouldn't. Um, we have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Serum, the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and I love this. I have already repurchased this. If you watched my um, morning skincare routine, which you should, I'm gonna put it right here in the cards for you, so you can go and click on it after this one. I talked about how much everyone needs hyaluronic acid in their skincare regimen, no matter what. Definitely check out that video, because I do give you a lot of um, reasons as to why you need to use it and some other things, but I really, really enjoy this hyaluronic acid serum. It feels really smooth on the skin, and after I put my toner on, I'll apply this, and I feel like my skin's like, yes, give me all the moisture, and it feels cooling on the skin too, um, and some days I've forgotten to actually put my moisturizer on because this gives me so much hydration. So I really, really like it. I have here the Trader Joe's Vitamin E Oil in I like to use oils at night over a moisturizer because I feel when I wake up in the morning, my skin is much more hydrated, like it actually still feels supple and soft, and it still feels like there's something on my face versus waking up in the morning and then my skin feeling dry because the moisturizer has like sunken into my skin and now it's just done. So I've been using this one. I will be repurchasing this. I like vitamin E oil because I think it helps to clear up my acne scars. My doctor recommended I use that when I had my C-section. She's like, it'll help to heal your scar. So especially when my acne was really acting up and I had a lot more scarring, I would use vitamin E oil at night and I could tell a difference that it did help my skin to heal and it soothed those acne breakouts a lot. So um, yes, I will be repurchasing it because I really do like it. On to this Nip Plus Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Serum. This was okay. I mean, it just, I purchased it because I heard it was a dupe for the Drunk Elephant TLC Friend Boost Glycolic Serum. And I was like, I love that serum, but it's so expensive. So let me try to try this one. And it's, in my opinion, it's not a dupe um, because I didn't feel like it was nearly as effective. But I found another serum that I like way, way, way more. I've raved about it so much on this channel, on Instagram. The Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment, let me tell you, it'll change your life. And it's six bucks, the best. Speaking of Good Molecules, I used up the Niacinamide Brightening Toner, and this was good. I really, really enjoyed this toner. So it's formulated with Niacinamide, Vitamin C, Arbutin and licorice root extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores and I it did just that it brightened my skin I felt like my pores shrunk. I don't have terrible pores But I do have pores and I felt like they were not as noticeable while I was using this so um, I did use this up I do need to repurchase it, but I would repurchase it because I really really enjoyed it speaking of toners my first toner love was the Thayer's Facial toner, witch hazel, aloe vera formula. I prefer the lavender scent over the cucumber scent. Um, it's just a preference, I love lavender. But this toner is very gentle on the skin. I feel like it removes any excess um, makeup or residue that I have on my face that my uh, facial wash might not have gotten off. I felt like it tightened my pores as well. And I loved how cool it felt on the skin. It's very cooling on the skin. If I had to choose between the toners, I can't. I really can't. I love both of them. I would repurchase both of them. I actually repurchased this one because I just needed a toner and I can only order this one online, but I can get this in Target. So I did repurchase this one, but they are excellent toners, excellent toners. Highly recommend them. On to a natural deodorant. This is the Schmidt Yang Yang Plus Calendula Natural Deodorant and I love this. So I started wearing natural deodorant last September, September of 2018 and I've gone through multiple natural deodorants. This is the one that holds me the longest. It gets me through a full workday and some, depending on how active I am. 
during the day. I like the smell of it. It's not like um, a pretty floral fragrance, but it is more of a fresh fragrance. This one, I will say, it may not be for every skin type. So I have never broken out from it, but I did read reviews on Amazon of people breaking out from this deodorant. My sister purchased it and she broke out. And here's the thing. The texture of the deodorant is a little bit more coarse. It's not smooth like your normal ones. So when you put it on, I hold it to my armpit for just a couple seconds, just to let my body temperature warm it up. And then I literally do like no more than five swipes. I'm not like, like how we normally do. That I feel from what I've heard other people say in reviews, that can definitely break you out because the texture is a bit coarse. So I just do five swipes and I'm good to go. My sister has more sensitive skin and she did exactly what I told her to do and she still broke out. So this may not be itch for everyone, but it really holds me. I don't sweat a lot with this either. Like I did with some other natural ones. I felt like I was just sweating everywhere and I was funky after like three or four hours this doesn't do that like she's good she's good okay on to let's go on to some vitamins so mm, I think it was in my September favorites videos I raved about these Ollie flawless complexion vitamin gummies this changed my skin for the better so I suffer with hormonal acne and Especially this year, I felt like my hormonal acne was just on a whole nother level. It wasn't just acne, it was like cystic acne. And of course it was, you know, it, it affected my self-esteem. I have more scarring because of it. And I was like, I didn't even struggle with this type of, I didn't struggle with acne even as a teenager. Like I got my one pimple, you know, around that time of the month and I was done. Whereas, you know, now I feel like I can't, my, my, my face just never is clear. I use these for a month, cleared up my skin. So like, I do still get breakouts. Like I have a breakout here and I have a breakout here, um, but they're not cystic number one. They go away in a timely fashion, like a couple days and then I'm, I'm done with whatever that breakout is. And it really does like control and tame my hormonal acne. And for that, I am forever grateful for because I just, didn't know what to do. I have used up three of these in the past couple of months. So you get 50 gummies in one container. You take two gummies per day. So this lasts you just shy of a month, but I will repurchase these time and time again. I already have another one here because I can't go without it because when I don't take them, I notice it because I will get breakouts and I'm just like, nope, mm -mm. don't you worry skin. We got another one coming. Because these vitamins work so well, I got the Ali, the Perfect Women's Multivitamin Gummy Vitamins. They have a blend of vitamins A, C, D, E, Bs, biotin and folic acid. And I think these work really good as well. The biggest difference that I've noticed is my energy level. So I feel like I don't hit that 2 p.m. low where I'm like, I'm so tired, I'm dragging, I need a sugar boost, you know? And I, I feel good because I'm like, I'm taking in extra vitamins because my diet, you know, it's not the best. Kind of been like trash lately. So I, I know that I need a vitamin, but I always felt like but previous vitamins that I took just didn't do anything. And I like to feel like what I'm taking is working and I feel like these work. So have I purchased another one? Yes, here she is right here. I really enjoy these. I get mine from Target, but I think Sephora sells these too. Alrighty, so let's go on with the last little bit of products that I have. I've used up two fragrances. So the first one is the Chant Chanel Atandre. Sorry if I butchered that. This is the one that was the pink color and y'all, oh, I love this scent. It smells so pretty you know like if pretty had a smell this is what this smells like it's fresh i love wearing this in the daytime because it makes me think of like day fragrances it's light it's floral it's fresh it just and it makes you feel pretty like i love fragrances that make you feel something those are the fragrances that i purchase like when i can smell it and go ooh, i feel whatever it is so i will be repurchasing this one for sure because i thoroughly enjoy it and then I used up my favorite fragrance of all time. So if I were a fragrance, I would be this. 
It is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle fragrance. And y'all, this fragrance makes me feel sexy, like all the way sexy. I love this fragrance for so many reasons. So number one, it lasts all day. I typically will wear this at night, but I have worn this in the daytime and it lasts me all day long. And it just, it smells so like sensual and like warm and like, I don't know, it just, it smells sexy. So then I feel sexy when I put it on. I've already repurchased this one because it is my favorite fragrance. So I don't go without it. Like I don't, it is just, it is there. It is my favorite. Like if I only could wear one fragrance, for the rest of my life, that's it. No questions asked, no questions asked. Okay, we're almost done. We've got a brow pencil. So my favorite brow pencil right now is the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. It's got a thin pencil tip. I love the spoolie. I love this brow pencil. Fills in my brows very well, very easily. It's just my go-to. It's very affordable. I've repurchased this so many times, like I can't even remember. Like I know I have another empty one around here, I just can't find it. <laughs> but it, it is my favorite, I highly recommend it. And then lastly, we've got some mascaras. So I had the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara, and this was like meh. Like it was highly raved about, and so I was like, okay, great, let me try it, everyone's loving this. And it just, it's okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. I think it added some volume, but it wasn't like really voluminous. And then I did not feel like it added much length to my lashes and I like volume and length. I need both. That didn't do it for me, so I wouldn't repurchase that. Then I have the It Cosmetic Superhero Mascara and this used to be my favorite mascara. So I love this mascara because it adds volume and length but it gets so clumpy after about a month. I mean, like, it's so like, it's just too much. Like, it, I don't like for my lashes to be clumpy. I like them to be voluminous, and I don't even mind a little bit of clump, but like, I don't like it to the point where I can't even like separate my lashes because there's so much clump. So I'm not gonna repurchase that because I've already found another mascara that I really like um, that I think does just as well as that one and it's drugstore so I don't have to worry about the price. And then I have the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. This mascara is so good. It adds volume, it adds length, it does the job, it doesn't clump even when I'm at the very end of it and I'm like, okay, I know I need to toss this. It doesn't clump or do any of that stuff. I love this mascara. I do need to repurchase it. I haven't though, because I have some other mascaras open. So once I go through those, I will be repurchasing that. And then my last product is this lash primer. So this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. This is the first primer I've ever used for my lashes and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now I do not put my mascara on without a lash primer because it gives me that extra oomph that I need to make myself feel like, you know what, you could have on some very, very subtle lashes. And um, I'm just so impressed by how well this lash primer works. I do though have another favorite. You'll see it in my favorite videos um, for this month, so stay tuned. But I highly recommend this one. This was a really good lash primer. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase it again because I think I like the new lash primer that I've been using more. But if I couldn't get the other one, I would repurchase that with no questions asked because it is really, really good. So those are all of my empties. Let me know if you have used up some products that you thoroughly enjoyed that you think I might like. Um, leave that in the comment section down below because I'd love to hear what you've used up and what you like and what you would repurchase. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.